Okay, so I had a question the other day talking about how to control uh, iron shot height. Okay, so that's it's one of those ones that really depends on a lot of things uh, in your swing and how to do it. Obviously, ultimately, we're going to have to deliver less loft at impact um, to achieve that flight. And then, depending on your grip and depending on how you uh, rotate through the shot, you're going to have to find the right matchup for you. But I'm going to show you a little drill that you can play around with to help. Okay, so. Um, if you're having a tough time controlling trajectory, usually I'm going to see one of two things. One, as you're coming in, your head might be a little bit too far back of the ball, okay? Um, actually, probably three things. Two, as you're hitting it, your body might be standing up, and then you're starting to let the club out that way, or you could be in the good spot and still, uh, or, or three, leaning too much to the target and then having to throw the club to try to catch it back up. So those are sort of the three areas that I've seen um, that sort of stand out the most to me. So what, what I want you to do with this drill is you get up to the top, feel like your sort of the lead side of your head is on, the, on top of the ball. Okay, I got an eight iron here. Um, and then as you're coming in, you're sensing that in front of your right leg here that the shaft is around parallel to the ground, okay? And then from there, you're gonna work on rotating and trying to maintain the loft on the face. I'm not trying to hold it forward unless I have, say I got a little bit of a weaker grip, sometimes you can twist it and have it forward. If I have a stronger grip, you're not gonna to want to do that because you'd hit it left every time, okay? So it, uh, mine's pretty neutral grip-wise, so when I come in, I'm here, and then as I'm coming through, I'm letting the club still swing, and then using sort of the right side of my body to help manage the loft deliver versus if I'm standing up or letting the club out or too far forward, all those things can be fixed with this move. So I'm here, just slightly behind it, I go up a little bit, and then I work my body through to hit a nice low flat one. And like, and you'll notice when I finish that my arms are still extended out here. I don't have the club going this way forever, and I still can, you know, produce a nice low flight with that one. That one launched at 13. I was just a chip shot, but you know, it's coming out super flat. So it's a really easy way to help refine your feels, and then you can use that sense and sort of build it into your full swing. Um, obviously, if the ball, if you do that sense and say you you hit it and the ball cuts too much, then you know try to get the club coming maybe from more from the inside. If it say you do that sense and the ball pulls, then work on trying to get the face a bit more open so you can you know use your ball flight and your feels and make those small adjustments but from that position you're checking a lot of boxes. I hope that helps control the trajectory of your irons especially when you're trying to hit low shots.